Hello everyone and welcome to part 11, I believe now, this video. Nothing's changed since the last time I dropped the video because it was only a few days ago that I uh, that I uploaded and done it. So today, weather's getting a bit more miserable but the evenings are still nice and long so I am going to stick a window in. Um, I'll show you. So we're going to stick that window in. I'm hoping this goes better than the last time. So I'm just going to go around and make sure all these holes are, well, they are drilled out, to be fair. Um, that one probably could do with a bit of a rim out. But that's what you don't want to happen. Obviously, that will be covered in Sikaflex, so you won't see it. But when you drill from the inside, it blows it out the outside. So that wasn't even me either. I have done them, so I'm guilty of it. <coughs> yeah, it's in just quite this morning. It needs a little bit of cleaning up, bits and bobs. The inside's a bit mank there. Couldn't get it to have a nice seal like that all the way around, so I'll clean that up again and make it all match at some stage. But it's in. Yeah, I didn't notice that my. Uh, last clip got cut out but yeah like that i spent last night putting it in oh so it is a little bit rough here and there all right little bits like that of the sicker flex on the inside but i will um get in there with some white spirits and all that later and clean it all up but that's another thing done it's got a window in it's supposed to be hottest day of the year so far today people it is a scorcher I've been up fitting carpets for Duncan, bless him. Anyway, um, me mate Sam has gone and saved me bum again and gave me a couple of more tubes of Sikaflex black, which is ideal because it means I can crack on with the boat because I ran out last night. So for anyone who doesn't know how to do this, um, again, he gave me all these dome nuts as well, all stainless, which is, you know, expensive stuff. So thank you very much, Paskins Marine. Anyway, uh, got your dome nuts. So make sure your window lines up. Make sure you've drilled your holes. Make sure that they're all the right size because it is a nightmare like I had with the first lot on the doors when it's all sticky and horrible. It's horrible stuff. So uh, I went round the window. A nice decent blob, you know, all the way round including covering the holes and then I sort of squidged it up gently so it wasn't completely squidged and got all my holes in then I got Duncan to stand out here with an allen key and I went inside and put all my dome nuts on and then I'd done them all up and then I went round and done them all up again and everything all squidged out and then I used my lollipop stick like you do and some baby wipes and some turps on the cloth um, but it was dark and it was really late and that hence why it's not an amazing job now it looked better when I was in there last night but now it's, it's again it's something I just have to take time to clean up but here's all your befores this window before this window before and obviously the screen that goes on the top so yeah I will be getting on with it <clears throat> Enjoy the weather people, everyone be safe. So we've got window number two going in. Nice big blob of Sikaflex all the way around. Paskins Marine once again. Saved me a few quid and saved me bacon. We're going to stick that in, it's a very messy job so the phone will be going away. So uh, yeah, I'll show you it once it's done. And that's her in. Again, it's a lot cleaner this one actually than the last time but it needs a little 
odds and sods cleaned up, little, just little bits that I can't see when you're in there at night on your own, trying to rush against the time before it goes off. It's difficult, but you'll be able to clean that up, no problem. Yep, so let's have a recap. We've got both lights on, window, bow rail, window, light, steering, <coughs> cleat, spare engine stand, bung, uh, rod holders, so now it will be, I've put the glass in the door, um, so it will be fit door, finish the window, stick the screen on at the top, uh, drill holes and bolt engine on the back probably, and then tow it around me mate's house again, and he'll be fitting it all out with the electrics while I sort his boat out, apparently, maybe, who knows. I also need to chuck some bearings in them because they are ruined. And I need to tidy my garden up because my missus is moaning about my workstation. <laughs> Fair dues, there is stuff everywhere. So today I've been over and got loads of more nuts and bolts. Once again, courtesy of Paskins Marine. Saving me a fortune. Got me witch's hats which are just about to be bolted onto here. Um, got me nuts and bolts and all that ready. So these are your befores. So there is no after. I've got that far simply because it has been pouring it down for the last three days. And I'm now draining a lot of water from the boat. Which is not bloody ideal. Um, I've got it jacked up around this side because I was going to start doing the bearings so I've got to be careful how much I lift the front while it's on there so the deck draining works very well and there's the piece that got stuck in there look a bit of tape or something so that's coming out lovely I'm draining the deck through the that one and I've just left everything out here and it's just been raining solid so I need to tidy it all up and get it all in yeah draining through there good so surprise surprise it's been raining for the last four to, well three days now again starting to pee me off a bit because we've just you know we're in summer now and I wanted it done by now I've got no gazebo or nothing to cover it up with, so yeah, it's just sitting there getting wet all the time and I'm having to seal windows and stuff so it's not like I can do it in this pouring rain, it'll just go everywhere and won't work. Wet, soggy boat. And I'm running out of money. So I'm having to build that up again because it's bloody expensive <laughs> so after what feels like weeks but it wasn't really but it, just over a week or so continuous rain it actually feels like summer again and I got this done last night so my missus and some of the kiddies have gone glamping for a few days and I'm at home with the dogs and my eldest boy, because he didn't want to stay. So, uh, me mate come round last night and give me a hand to put the window in. So that's all three of the windows in now. Screen next up there. And then work out, measure up over here for the hinges. And also... That's pretty much where the seat boxes will go. So it's um, it's really starting to come together now. 
here and I'm not, you know, I'm not going to lie, over the last couple of months or so it's been pretty hard to find the funds to continue with it. I'm uh, sort of running out of money, obviously with your kids and your normal bills and everything else and then trying to find um, hundreds of pounds to pour into a hobby, into your boat. Pretty difficult times but we're managing it and I've managed to get up the money for me rub rail now. That's just over 100 quid. I mean, it's all little bits and bobs that add up. And I was thinking maybe at the end of this, I'll sit down and sort of do a summary of how much it can actually cost you to do this. And if anyone else is looking to do the same sort of project, roughly how much it's cost me and how much it can cost you. I mean, I'm very lucky, like I say, because my best mate runs his own boat business. And um, he donates a lot of stuff and all that to help me out with the boat because he's enjoyed doing it with me. Plus, he's my best mate, and uh, he's been trying to get me on a bow for years. So now we've got one. He's been helping me out do it, but I'll sit and work out all the summary at some stage. Maybe when all of this is done, we'll have an after video of what we did, how much it cost, how many man hours it takes, all that sort of thing. And give you all an idea for anyone who sat at home thinking, you know what, I'd love to do that. Give you an idea of what it will cost you and what it will take to do it. So, yeah. So finally the sun is shining again, got out here last night and done a bit more, um, let me show you, and I've also been and bought me rub rail, so she's really coming together now, let's have a look, plenty, it fits there, so I went over that, so there's a bit more length as well, that left over so we're out here today sorting out some of the boat I fitted the other um, witch's hat look how terrifying this looks and I've just put a big hole in my boat because this is where my bilge pump outlet's going to come but yeah that and I've also run into a problem with the steering apparently it's three inches short so I've got another steering cable that I'm going to put on and donate this one back to him. Yeah. And once again, as quick as it all come poured down, it's beautiful again. So let's have a recap and a quick overlook of it all. Obviously we've done the rail and three windows are in. Screen still needs to go uh, up the top here. And obviously we've got our um, bow rail on. Rub rail's only sat on there, it isn't actually on it. You can see it's sort of lumped around there. We've got our lights on both sides. I'm redoing the steering as we speak. Both cleats are bolted on. Both rod holders are bolted on. Both witches hats are bolted on. Drain bung and bilge pub bung is in along with stainless steel drain for the bilge pump so yeah seat boxes are done they just need to be bolted in I spoke far too soon I cut it off because um, you might have heard the thunder crack in the video and then that is just relentless Duncan has come round to help me with the boat. We're going to stick the screen on. Just waiting for me drill to charge up because it ran out on me. Um, lovely new remotes in this box. Lovely things. Lovely, lovely, lovely brand new. Going to bolt them on probably as well. So yeah, tonight we're just it's a nice evening. Got a couple of beers. Not a lot a couple <coughs> and we're gonna get try and get some more bits so screen hopefully will be fitted by well, the end of tonight at least it's gonna be a very messy job 
it's not the best of fun, but it needs to be done. Do that, and then onto some more stuff. So we finally fitted the screen. We were out here too late. Duncan fitted it wonky, but oh well, it is what it is. Uh, I'm gonna stick GPS and fish finder in now, and then a couple of handles either side. So I'll show you that when we get done. As you can see, we've got all sorts going on. I've decided to move things around a bit. Um, the big stainless steel handles that I have, uh, I don't even know where I've put them. I'll show you in a minute. Big stainless steel handles that were originally on top of the dash. I'm going to put one here and one there. They'll look better and they're actually useful. My GPS and my fish finder go in there. And I'm now just about to fit a switch panel. I was thinking of sticking it, you know, straight in the dash there, like that. But I've now just figured out that it will actually fit nicely just on the corner there of this. So I think that'll be much better. So I'm going to do that now. It don't matter how many times I drill a hole or cut a bit or whatever, I always crap myself. <laughs> so yeah, that's the whole sort of fuse box which I'll go and get out my workshop in a minute. I've done the size and what I needed last night, so I should just slot straight in. We will see. I'll go and get it and get back to you. So yeah, <laughs> there's the big old hole. Here's my switch panel. And it should. Yeah, fit there lovely. So that's going to be where my switch panel goes. I'm just going to bolt that in now. And move on to the next one. Oh, everyone's out enjoying the football and neighbours and all that. We just won 4-0 against Ukraine. So yeah, it looks like it may come home this time. It's non-stop. It's literally just as I speak starting to stop. skies were black a minute ago but they're still pretty nasty I just can't get anything done people like, every time it's sunny I'm out here working my bum off trying to get it done but it's driving me insane it really is I might just end it here and um, hope for better weather to move on to the next one um, so this could possibly be the end who knows you might, you might see more, you might not. I'll put it all together and see what I've got. Pain. Hopefully, on to better times.